Hello and welcome to Tuner Tips by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, and items to improve the reception, yeah, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. All right, so today I'm going to showcase three items to help improve the reception of your radio. We have a medium loop antenna. We have a FM uh, shortwave reel antenna. And then we have an extension antenna for the telescoping whip. And we'll go over each item and show you what they do. So we'll put a couple of things aside and we'll start with the Kaito T1 compact antenna. So if you own a shortwave radio, portable, say a small radio, or you own one of those emergency radios like, that uh, Kato makes, not Kaito, Kato. I actually talked to them on the phone. They did tell me Kato is how you pronounce it. Um, I might have just said it wrong initially. But uh, it's hard to get used to the new, the new name. Uh, it's good to have one of these wires. This comes in about $9.99 shipped from Amazon. Uh, there's a Texan brand one you can get. I think it's a little less money. This one just had a little extra um, feature that I liked, and I'll show that to you. But this is, like, crucial, especially in an emergency situation, and you need to improve your reception of your shortwave because a lot of times those shortwave antennas they give you on those little radios are like 14 inch, 15 inch, and you're just not gonna get the signals that you wanna hear. So this here will pretty much extend your 14, 15 inch antenna on some of those radios up to 22 feet, which is fantastic. And you can orientate this in the window or south facing window or north facing window, whatever window is best for reception, which is really nice. You can do it indoors. You can also do it outdoors too. So let's go ahead and show you what's in the box. All right, the idea of size here. A deck of cards, fairly small and compact, fits in my hand fine. Put it, you put it in a pocket on a backpack, maybe an emergency bag if you have um, emergency radio with other things. You can put this along with it. I would definitely have one with mine. So it's almost like a, a must have purchase if you're going to have a shortwave uh, portable radio. So, what it is, you'll see here, is uh, it retracts out 22 feet. I measured it, <laughs> all 22 feet of it. Most of them are 21 feet advertised. This is 22. Uh, this has a jack, and some radios have a receptacle for that jack, and I happen to have one of those. That's the Texan PL310ET. I have one of these antennas wired up in my room, and it makes a huge difference. Actually, at night, for me, I like to listen to the shortwave and FM in my bed, and I have this hooked up like this. I don't have to extend the whip any, which is really nice. So I turn my radio on, Leave the whip down. I can lay the, this anywhere on the bed. I don't have to worry about the whip hitting anything. And then I got my reception from the elevated 22 foot wire. Really nice. So my reception it comes in amazing. So th that's nice. But if you don't have that jack and you have a smaller um, radio or a radio that does not have that, like we mentioned, you can get yourself, like say my R9012, awesome little radio for under 20 bucks. Um, you get the uh, little adapter here that comes with it that snaps on the end of the antenna. So you take that little part, it just clips real nice there without hurting the antenna too. You know, some people, you know, have alligator clips and they use speaker wire. You could do that, but this is really nice and refined and ready to go. This just plugs into here and boom. Now you got a 22-foot wire on your small shortwave receiver. Definitely must-have item. You will be amazed at the difference. I would say easily gaining 50-60% signal strength at the, at the minimum for me. So it's a big deal. So I'm indoors all the time. So it works out real well for me. Um, outdoors, it's got to be even more amazing. So there you are. Nice little $10 investment. If you listen to shortwave or you want your FM stations to come in clear and you want something inexpensive, this is a go-to item. I'd recommend it. All right. So that's the Kaito T-1 compact antenna. And I'll link that so you know where to get it. So here we got the uh, Texan R9012. I wasn't going to feature the radio, but it works out good in this scenario. Um, it's typical AM, FM, medium wave radio, inexpensive, and it can benefit from a lot of these upgrades. So here we have, let me set that aside for a second so it comes into focus, an um, antenna that came with the PL606 Texan radio. They call this an FM uh, extension or shortwave extension antenna. It's telescoping, okay? Um, kind of a neat feature. It, people were wondering about this, so I decided to feature it. It's got a base that's 730 seconds of an inch across. I really like this idea uh, of extending the telescopic whip. Some people may not because it doesn't fit right on the radio when you put it on. But if your antenna broke on your radio and you need an emergency fix, you got one right here as long as the diameter is correct. And it is on the Texans. 
So say you had this radio. I'm going to show you how to put it on. So this has like two little uh, locking nuts. So you just loosen these up and pull them off. That's how you move this black sleeve up and down. Okay, so this is uh, removable. This comes all the way out. And there's a metal sleeve in here too, so it makes contact wherever this part sits, this extension, which is really nice. Then you take your antenna here, and you try to find that corresponding part where it links to. And for me, it's the second part here. So I'm going to retract this part down, and then I'm going to take one of my locking nuts and put it over here. And take this part, doing it on camera, so I'm trying to line it up. Slide it down about there. I think, I don't know, about midway if you can. Um, so you got to lock it pretty tight. And just be careful, you know, just pull on this black part. Try to use your, you know, pull on the metal part and hold this when you're extending out the other part. So that way you don't uh, put a lot of strain on the little plastic locking part. So we're going to go ahead and attach this part and show you how it looks attached here. So I really can't zoom the camera out, but you get an idea how it sits on the radio. And that is how big it sits. So it's like, what? <laughs> That's it. So, but this is kind of cool in a pinch. If you didn't want to carry a wire around and you had this, you could extend your reception by quite a bit. This is a normally 22 inch. Now you have like a 50 inch uh, extension. This is just amazing. And uh, you can, you know, you've just improved your reception quite a bit. So, and then plus, if you, you did a quick fix on a radio that was broken in the middle up there and you had this bottom part to attach to right there, now you, have, now you have a fix until you can get a replacement one. So I really like this. works out really well. How do you get these? I don't know. Um, if you guys have a link to any of these, if you know where they sell them, let me know. Um, I talked to Kato Electronics. I actually called them up because I wanted to know if I could order these because I was featuring this on my episode. And they said no, they don't offer them right now. But it was a good idea, and they're actually going to uh, see if they can stock them. So I'll, I'll let you guys know, and I'll probably change and put a link down once they become available. I believe he's going to talk to the owner of the company and see if they can uh, order a batch from, I think Texan makes these, um, and then have these available for purchase for other radios. It doesn't have to be for one radio, which is really nice. So there you are. And I assume this price for this would probably be right around 10 to $15 at the most. I'm guessing more towards the $10 range. All right, so that's that. And now the fun part, the Texan AN200 medium wave loop antenna. Yay! And I'm going to kind of zoom up a little bit so I can get that more into focus. This thing is cool. You know I like medium wave reception, and I like listening to medium wave band, and this thing really is amazing. Um, there's so much you can do with this passive loop antenna. That's what it's called, a passive loop. Uh, those who like to listen to AM stations or medium wave stations long distance will want to invest in one of these. This particular one cost me about $28. I had to wait a week or two for it. Uh, right now it's out of stock, but I'll try to put some links for different ones. There's an AN100, which is a little different. The base is more solid. This one has a, an open base on it. Uh, there's also the, uh, what was it, the Turk brand, and I'll also link to that too. Uh, these are great, and I'm learning a lot about them. And there's different um, science involved. So what the main thing is, is that it works off mutual inductance. Now, I know that sounds like a nerdy thing, but it is mutual inductance. This creates a magnetic field, and when they, or they call it magnetic flux lines, and when they line up, typically like this, this on a radio like this, the ferrite bar runs this way, and this runs what they call adjacent to it. So the energy from this passive coil transfers to the ferrite bar inside the radio, enhancing the gain on the signal, increasing the decibel of the signal coming in, which is really awesome. And I can show you what that does. Let's go ahead and find a station. It's faint. I'm going to zoom up here. There we go. We'll use it on this one. So this one particularly has, let me flip this around, has a uh, tuner. So you can tune the antenna and how much gain it has to the radio. Or if you're trying to reduce noise on an adjacent station. And we'll talk about that. So here I'm going to turn the knob and see if I can improve the gain. Turn this up. Okay, so you heard it where it cut out. I'm right in the sweet spot, so I'm going to move that back up.
moving the radio helps, but typically this is the best reception I get. Some people put it inside the loop. Oops. Take it away, you can see one out of tune. So you can see a big difference there. And now you can listen to your station. Love it. So they call this the adjacent position. There's also a facing position. Like this, too. And you can adjust it. Okay, so you can see that really helped pull that station in. Um, I'm glad that was able to be used. Um, and before we, you know, uh, end the video, I want to show you kind of, or talk to you a little bit about the way this works and the different uh, things you can do with it. Uh, so I've had this for a short time, but I'm learning that different facings give you the ability to draw in certain stations. So say this is just hypothetical. You have a station on 1,000 kilohertz on the medium wave band, and it's real strong. And you're trying to listen to 1010 AM, that's right next to it, and it's very difficult. Well, when you're doing that, if you take the antenna and you go up like this to the ferrite bar, so here's your, you always gotta remember where your ferrite antenna is on your radio. And you try to get what they call horizontal to the device. Okay, so you're trying to stay horizontal on my camera. Let's see, if I get that. Looks like it's a little off pitch there, so it wasn't looking quite horizontal. Hopefully it looks a little better. Okay, so you want horizontal, horizontal, you want it to meet. And so this this type of what they call the facing direction, and they call this down uh, band notch. So if you're trying to hear that 1010, you want that uh, 1000 station to disappear. So this helps notch out that, so you can hear that 1010 easier. Awesome, did not know that. So you face it in this direction to get that upper part of that band. So say you had the, a station 990 and you want to hear that one. You wouldn't do it this way. You would do it this way. The adjacent position. So in the adjacent position, again, horizontal. It's focusing on the wrong part, but that's all right. Um, hor horizontal. You want your ferrite to line up with the middle of the antenna. And when you do this, this allows you to what they call up band notch. So you want to notch out the upper part of the band which eliminates, tries to eliminate part of that, that strong station on the 1000. And so this lets you help help listen to you on the 990 in this facing position, the adjacent position. So kind of cool. And so I learned all this off a PDF file, which I'm going to include in the video description. Yeah! And there's so much in this little PDF file. You're going to love it. If you're really into medium wave and you want to know about loops and what they do, I like it affected it by touching it. <laughs> Um, you're going to learn really quick what it can do. And we're going to do some daytime sessions and nighttime loop sessions probably with this. So you get an idea. And I'm thinking about, this is just a thought, I'm thinking about investing in a second one. Yes, two of these. Believe it or not, they can work together. Um, there's a way that if you have one in this position and one in the other position, you can notch out um, a higher frequency while you're trying to listen to a lower frequency. Just amazing what you can do. So yeah, I'm learning a lot about this passive inductance and, and learning how it all works together. But just, just amazing, like what you heard me bringing in uh, Cincinnati there on this radio when it wasn't getting any decent reception. Now, some radios are like really affected, like they all of a sudden just boom to life. So this one here does help this radio too, which is nice. Cool. Alrighty, so there you go. Hopefully these items help you in the reception and capability of your little portables. I think you'll enjoy, if you're a medium wave listener, you'll, lo you'll love having one of these. It's worth the investment. It's, like I said, it's under 30 bucks. I would say pick one up. You see a lot of guys using these. There's a reason. They do work. Um, it's amazing how well they work. And... You know, definitely pick yourself up one of these if you listen to shortwave at any capacity on a little small portable because you just you'd be you'd be disservice to yourself in the radio by not having one of these hooked up. They just do so much to improve the reception. And then this telescoping whip, this little extra extender, 
this is just a really good, uh, like I said, fix in a pinch or a little extra reception in a pinch. I like having this too. And hopefully this will be available or there's a shop that sells something like this. If you guys know, let me know on that. So there you are. Three items that will help you. Uh, check out the links below. And like I said, check out the PDF for this medium wave. Just amazing science involved. And there's ways to even make your own. So if you don't want to buy one and you have wire and you have some technical knowledge, you actually can build your own loop antenna. So, alrighty guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, big thumbs up. If you are new and you like these type of videos, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon. I try to produce a tuner tips video once a month or so, uh, showcasing items like this to help your reception, uh, different things, um, talk about... Uh, you know, radios, apps, things like that. So it's a lot of fun. And then uh, comment below what you think about these different items. Do you use them? Do you enjoy them? Uh, do you know of a better alternative to this or this or this? Just, you know, give me a heads up. I'd like to know. All right, guys, take care. Thank you and goodbye.